Welcome to today's video on the hooded lid and today I'm going to do another video that is inspired by a couple of YouTubers that I watch. Now sometimes you see these and it's uh, so and so made me buy it and I think that actually might be closer to the case today because it's not about a look it's about some products and the products are from Surat. This is how it came. I got these during the sale and I will unpack and tell you a little bit about it. I got the foundation because Michelle Wong, who I have been following since she had 10,000, fewer than 10,000 subscribers, because I remember her saying, oh, you guys, 10,000, thanks so much. Back in those days, I didn't actually have an account. I would just go to YouTube every day and watch videos of people that I liked. But um, I've been with her for a very long time. Now, she has the same color skin that I do, I think because we use a lot of the same colors she just has different settings than I do so she looks quite a bit darker so I went ahead and I got the color I think she has which is number four in the dew drops which is something that she has said on many occasions that she really really enjoys so let's just put this on I've already done my skincare and my sunscreen and I haven't actually opened this box yet I did get a sample, if you can believe it, at um, Blue Mercury. They were nice enough to give me a sample. So this is the container. I think it's plastic, but it feels nice. And here's a little security tape. I've heard a lot of people complain about this because of its distribution, its component, which kind of looks like the bottle you use for coloring your hair. <laughs> and there is a tab at the bottom. I'm going to shake it up it's quite thin and then you're supposed to depress the tab and you know what I don't have a problem with that M maybe some of them are harder than others it's very thin and somewhat liquidy I've had things more liquidy for sure and I did try this it is a sample but um, huh <laughs> I don't remember it being quite this color. This is pretty yellow. Wow, shoot. You know, when you get samples, you don't know how long the foundation has been there. Okay, okay, it's better when you rub it in. So it's a little, <laughs> a little concerning at first. I've managed to burn myself. I think it's a burn. I got the uh, the Nua RF machine because I had one RF session at my doctor's and it was great. And I thought, hmm, let me get this Nua because we were kind of experimenting. He said, let's see if you respond to this. And I did. And he said, okay. You've got something else planned for me, and I thought, well, I want to get the Nua and use it around my eyes because my eyes are a mess. And we'll use it, you know, everywhere. And I used it for several days, and then yesterday I got this. So I don't want to touch this. I have a feeling it's a little bit of a burn. I have kind of a mole right there. But I have moles all over my face, and I also have a feeling that I made a mistake in that I did it first thing in the morning without washing my face because I figured, well, all my products from last night are on my pillow. No biggie. And it could have been just the combination of my skin care. I don't remember if I put on retinol that night, and I don't think I did. This is really nice. So I depressed that for the entire depression. Just squeezed it until it stopped squeezing. That's how much it was. I'm quite shiny. I think it, I'm actually, if it's possible, more shiny than how I started. And you twist this back on. So it's a, it is a teeny, teeny, teeny bit yellow for me. Yeah, and it's super, 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 super shiny. <laughs> okay, we're going to need to powder this, but I needed to set up a little bit. It's not, it's not wet feeling. It's not, 
how do I describe this? It feels a teeny bit emollient to tell you the truth. Um, but it doesn't feel like, for instance, this. It doesn't feel like a serum. It doesn't feel like my Kogendo. It doesn't feel like my Reboot, which have a little bit more thickness to them. And I feel like there's a little more hydration in both of them. This doesn't necessarily feel hydrating. It feels more a teeny bit moisturizing. And I feel a little too yellow. But that's okay, it's not terribly, terribly yellow. So I'm going to go in with these and we'll be right back. Back, a little bit of concealer. Now I'm going to take my, this is insanely expensive to me. Look, I know there's plenty of people on YouTube who have no problem spending thousands of dollars on brushes. I am not one of them. This is $250, but it's super soft. And I did get it on sale. Because the next thing I'm going in with is blush, I do want to powder it. But you know what, let me just, I just still want to set this up a little bit. So let me first go through some swatches. So the second part of this video is blushes. I have some blushes already from Surat, and I'm just going to show them to you. They make really finely milled, beautiful. I don't wear these very often. They're, they're very special and need to be handled with care because they're so vibrant. I use the same brush that I use for my bronzer with this, which is a very feathery, not very full, not dense at all brush, and just touch the lightest bit. And they're really sensationally beautiful. If you have darker skin, of course, you don't have to go in with such a light hand. And then I have this one. Now, this is something I made, two shadows and a blush. Here's the thing about Surat blushes that bother me so much. One, you have to buy this and it's $27, which is a lot of money. I'm surprised I bought it. I thought, you know what, maybe I won't, maybe I won't buy that. But it's not magnetized, so it's not like you can buy a Z palette and just pop it in there. Instead, what they have is these little stickers on the bottom that tells you the color of the product and you peel off the sticker and you place it in here. The problem is it's not double stick so when you peel off the sticker that has the name on it you can't turn this around and pop this on. There's the other side. So you know. So I don't know the names of these. I mean I can look them up because it's a bright red and a bright poppy but this one I might have a little bit more trouble figuring out so I didn't actually put this in. Oh, I did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not too sure what color that is. I think I know though. So that's kind of a an issue that I don't like about their packaging. I'm not the only one who's said as much, but they haven't made any changes to it. And it's not even, you know, at least maybe make it white here so you can take a um, Sharpie and put the name on it so you know. It's, it's not the ideal situation. So I already have those two blushes, and I have another one that I use as a bronzer, which I never put in a case, it's right here. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a bronzer. I think I bought it as a blush, but I'm like, oh, this is not a bad color for me. So that, and my second inspiration comes from Alana Davidson. So Alana is another one I've been following for a really long time and there was a video that she did and I don't remember when it was but she had three of these Surat shades and just mix them all together and put them on her face and she said this is just a dream and she was right. So I did a screenshot of the colors that she did um, and I'll put that in here but as you can see I didn't do a screenshot of her so I really can't tell what the video is. If I did the screenshot, I could tell you what video it was. I can just, you know, you can kind of tell by what they're wearing. In my case, probably not because I think I'm always wearing gray. But uh, yeah, I bought based on that. Now, one of those colors, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Well, I will, but I'm going to embarrass myself. Areol, I think, is a highlighter and it's always sold out. And then the other two colors I'm not going to try to pronounce because, as we know, I am blind. This is one of them. I'm gonna try. Barb a Papa. Yeah, I don't know if that's right. And Cherubique. 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. And they're both pinks. And then she had that highlighter color in it. And let me just show you side by side how they kind of relate to each other. There is a sheen to these. Really, really pretty. And I'm just going to move it around so, yeah, you can see because the sun's hitting them, it looks a little bit different. Super pretty. And then I bought something that I saw in the store that I thought was so pretty. And that's Angelique. Not my style. I usually don't do colors like this, but it's swatched insane. So I had to. And now I'm going to swatch for you. Look at that. That is so pretty. And let me do the Marapapa. There it is. It doesn't look as Barbie as it does in the pan. It has a bluish tint to it in the pan. And True Beak. These are so smooth, so pretty. And there's the True Beak. All right, let's go in and powder my face because I feel like that's enough time to set and I'm using my By Terry. I really like this foundation. I really, really do. And I think the coverage, I, I think she was saying it's not very much coverage at all. I think it's, it's perfect coverage. It's perfect. It's not covering you too much. Although I do feel like my under eyes are looking incredibly dark. I probably need to lighten that up a little bit suddenly. Huh. So let's go in with a darker one, True Beak, True Beak. No, Chubik, Chubik, I don't know. And I am using my Wayne Goss brush. I should have gotten the Syrah brush, but I, you know, I had already indulged plenty. And because it's darker, I'm going to use it more like right under the eyebrow. I'm not going to use it as a contour because it's not that kind of a color. Look at that sheen. If you like a little sheen on your face, but highlighter is too much for you, this kind of highlighter, I mean this kind of blush, you would really like. And it's not like the Charlotte Tilbury's that actually feel like there's a teeny teeny bit of micro glitters. This is more of a, a sheen. That's a really nice color for me. And I'm just going to bring it up a little bit, kind of freshen up the eyes, and I think this color is agreeable enough to actually bring it up to the lids a little bit. And if you get any over here, that's fine. You could do a very, very subtle draping. Really pretty. I have to stop saying really. Very pretty. All right, I'm going to wipe that off and then do the Rose Barbar. Rose Barbar, that is a perfume by Grillon that is insane. Picks up a lot, so take off in your hand. And now I'm going to do more like right under my eye. So little of it is going into that first color and a little of it is by itself. And always high. I, you know, I saw somebody doing a video on blush the other day, and they were smiling. Here's the problem. When you smile, it's like, okay, I'm going to put it right here. When you're not smiling, it's a lot lower. So don't smile. You can do a little bit of this internal smile just to get your cheeks going if you are chubby cheeked like I am. It's just the perfect something so it doesn't look so starkly white on the fat parts of my cheeks when I initially had to put this on. I just saw, okay, here's my color and here's nothing. And now there's just a little something, but it's just such a little something. Do you know what I mean? This is so, so pretty. I was just checking to make sure I didn't say really, really. Now, what are we going to do? With the one that was not inspired by anybody, I'm going to put this on my lids. This is just such a pretty, pretty color. These powders are creamy and yet, I don't know how to explain it. 
finally, finally meld. Um, okay, <laughs> I think I kind of changed the look into a direction I wasn't planning on going. I think I want to bring that darker pink in as well and just kind of put it over everything. Because it was just a little bit clashy. And that's it, I think, you guys. What do I think about these? I think they are beautiful if you can catch them on sale. They're not terribly, terribly expensive as you know, high-end makeup goes, but it does kind of kill me that this is $27. It's almost as much as the blush, and they're not magnetized, but it's a beautiful powder, and I think it's, if you are a makeup fiend, well worth starting some kind of a collection. If you're not a makeup fiend, but you do like these kind of colors, now you see what's going on in the face. I think they are natural, youthful kind of colors. There's nothing jarring. The colors are the kind of colors that would normally come from my skin tone. Um, if you're darker, you could probably do that first color. I just want to blend right here a little bit. And I don't know if you can see, there's very pretty sheen right here. You guys, this is the first time I opened them. I, I've had this for maybe a week and uh, finally got to do the video. I haven't tried any of it, and I have to say, I am 100% delighted with this foundation. We'll see how it goes. It's first impressions, but so far, I really like it. And these colors, Alana. Great colors. And it's so rare I see her in pinks. It was kind of a shock because she, she usually goes for deeper, more earthier colors on her cheeks. So when she put that on, I thought, yes, 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 yes. I'm really super pleased. I'm sorry I said really. I gotta do a video without saying really. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up, you guys. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health. <laughs>